Well, hello everyone, how are you doing? What better time to make a video than when I'm just having to sit in the truck and let that precious angel sleep? Because let me tell you, you don't disturb his nap. He can be something else. Okay, the reason I'm coming to you today, you saw my thumbnail, hopefully, smart meters. Well, this morning I was having a conversation with my granddaughter and she was telling me about her great grandmother's doctor in North Carolina had a $1.2 million home just to explode and leave a crater. Now, they have concluded thus far that it is due to a gas explosion, but they're not quite sure what the gas explosion is. So I did a little research into pictures and the pictures that I found that were from um, a faulty, you know, um, heating unit line or stove line, you know, the house had burned down and some of them half, you know, had been exploded. Uh, the ones with pipelines, the houses were burned down, but there were still remains. But I found a couple with faulty smart meters and there were craters. Nothing but toothpicks and a big crater where the house was. So they haven't finished their investigation. I can only assume comparing pictures. But anyway, won't make that assumption. North Carolina can deal with that. But not an hour later, I was sitting out on my porch having my coffee and this stranger starts walking up through my yard and I asked him if I could help him and he said, no ma'am. He said, I just finished installing your gas electric meter. And I said, a smart meter? And he said, well, I've never heard it called a smart meter. I said, so you don't come and look at the numbers anymore? And he said, no, they work by satellite cell signal and every day a pulse is projected to the satellite and sends the reading to our office. And I said, well, I don't want that. And I'm requesting that you take that meter out. They are dangerous. And he said, what do you mean they're dangerous? I said, listen, there are all kinds of unexplained house fires that are related to these smart meters. And he said, now listen, lady, if you're talking about that California mass. And I said, no, I'm not talking about paradise. That was a whole different situation. I said, I'm talking about other houses exploding and being burned down from smart meters. They're not exploding if they're electric, but they're exploding if they're gas meters, smart meters. And he said, well, when I get home, I'm gonna research this a little bit. So he comes up here to the duplex where my grandbaby lives and he installs the smart meter here. So while he was doing his little thing, I got online and did a little quick research. So he came back down the road and I said, now, are you really going to go home and research these smart meters? And he said, yes, ma'am, I want to know if I'm doing my job that's going to kill people. And I said, well, you are. I said, and the most important thing that you need to know is in the few minutes it took you to change that meter out, I did some quick research and New Zealand, North America, and Canada are suing their prospective electric and gas companies for the explosions related to these smart meters. And I said, I want that meter removed from these two pieces of property. And he said, well, you know, we weren't told anything about the dangers of smart meters, but we were told that if anyone wanted to reject the smart meter, which he was from the gas company installing the meters, that they had one of two choices, take the gas meter, or lose your gas service. The meter will remain on the home, but they will be more than glad to come and disconnect my gas service. How about that? So I just wanted to share that with you. So either you convert, oh, when he told me, you're always welcome to convert to completely electric for your home. What kind of attitude is that? They know there's a problem or else they would not give you a choice. 
you should be able to have a choice. It's your home. It's their service coming into your home that you have chosen to have, but still it is your home. And the gas company is either take the meter or you don't get gas service. So this problem is now totally 100% forced upon us. Gas was so much cheaper. At the time I had a new um, unit put into our home that the heat pump for the electricity is, I mean for the air conditioning is electric. But we had gas lines so I had the other unit put in as gas to save money in the winter on the heating bill. So we can either pay a fortune, and it is a fortune for those that have all electric homes in this area for the length of the winter, and have all electric, which we still have a smart meter that we cannot have it removed from our homes here either in at least my area of Southern West Virginia. So, now what do you think? Don't know quite what to do about this or how to go about this, but the first thing I'm going to do is call my congressman and find out exactly, you know, on top of it's taking somebody's job. Now they don't have the meter readers. So, just another, you know, form of artificial intelligence, only it's a satellite and cell phone, but still, this is a shame. This is a shame. As Americans, we don't have the right to choose what kind of meter we have on our home, whether it can be a danger or not. We have no choice what they're spraying in the skies. We have, we have very little choices now. You know, I can't choose whether or not I want to wear a seatbelt, but if you'll see, my seat belt is buckled behind me. I've got a pinched nerve. I have nerve damage from where it looks like I have been um, mugged. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I had a big tumor. So my thyroid surgery left me with a scar that it just looks like somebody mugged me and slit my throat. But, um, and I have gotten one ticket in my life for my seat belt. Um, but, you know, our personal choices, they're being taken away from us. And now they're taking away personal choices that are creating harm and potential danger. So, I don't know. I'm going to check in. I may follow up with this and see if I found out, you know, how we can fight this. Or if any of you all know a way to, you know, if anybody's already working on, you know, really fighting this to be able to have the freedom. You know, right now I can't afford to convert my home to all electric, but I'm still stuck with that electric, you know, smart meter. But it was, I just thought it odd that my granddaughter and I were having that discussion over an exploded house in North Carolina. And then within the hour, here he was putting a smart meter on for the, uh, for the gas. And there's already one for the electric. Um, the thumbnail are pictures combined of my two meters, smart meters on the side of my home. So, there you go. Let me know what you think. And, um, I don't know. I was just kind of shocked by the whole thing. You know, it just, you know, yesterday I want to do disinformation and then all of yesterday happened. And then today I'm educating my granddaughter on smart meters and then I get a smart meter. I don't know. Just odd times. That's all I can say. But, I uh, hope you're having a great day. Our weather's beautiful here today. Hope you're having great weather. Um, I hope, oh, I forgot to mention in either of my videos yesterday that yesterday was my three week anniversary of having my channel. So I'm having fun. I'm loving it. My tripod hasn't been delivered yet, which usually UPS is pretty quick. They're usually here in the morning, but no tripod yet. So hopefully before eight o'clock tonight, you know, when it's guaranteed, I will have it. But, um, thank you for everything. Much love to everybody. Always remember, share the love, the truth will come, and never be scared, just be prepared. Till next time, bye-bye.